we move now to cables. Before we understand the different concepts as far as the different services are concerned in a different on um, different buildings that we are working on, we will understand first the concept of a cable. So we get to understand what is a cable. And often at times people make these different mistakes. So to differentiate between a cable and a wire. In some cases, they call a wire a cable or they call a cable a wire. So we need to understand the difference between these two different um, items. So when we talk of cable, a cable is a length of insulated conductor. The conductor could either be solid or stranded, made up of two or more such conductors put together. So when we have different conductors or different wires put in together, two or more, it becomes a cable. So when we have one conductor or one, when we have one conductor, we call it a wire. This is a wire. So a cable is a length of insulated conductor. The conductor could either be solid or stranded. In this case, these are all stranded conductors that are put together to form this single wire. So the solid type now will not be made up of the different strands. It will just come as solid. So after understanding the concept or the definition of a cable, now we'll move to a wire. So we get to understand the difference now between wires and cable. This is a wire, as you can see, it's a PVC wire. And this is these are all cables. So like we mentioned already in the definition, a cable is made up of two or more such conductors put together. So in this case, we have two, it becomes a cable. We have three, it's a cable. We have four and it's still a cable. So we know cables are being used to connect different components that makes up a circuit. So when we have different components put together, what link all these different components together now will be a cable. So we have current now keep flowing through the conductors and getting to the different respective um, accessories or to the different um, to the different points. We might be talking of light point, we're talking of uh, switches and all that. So when we have cable or uh, cable interconnecting all these different components, we have current now also flowing through the conduit, the cable in order to get to the different points. This is what is called a circuit. So we have a we have cable sizes and identification identification. So standard sizes of cables and in square meter or square millimeter or mm squared or millimeter squared. So we have different sizes. So it starts from 1.5 up to 300. So it does not end with the 300, but the 300, I'll end with the 300 because it's the highest size that are being used mostly on site. So we go to site, you hardly find, you will not find any cable that is greater than 300 square mm. We now move to the fundamentals, which is Ohm's law. So we get to understand what is Ohm's law I've done a video on this, so it's better you go through my YouTube page or you go through my Facebook as well. Just Google it and write the Ohm's law. It's the, my Facebook page is Makoka Enterprises. So just go through, put in the Ohm's law and you get full details on Ohm's law. So in this case, we have Ohm's law current equal to voltage over resistance. So current is I. Voltage is V and resistance is R. So current is measured in amps or in ampere. Voltage is measured in volts, where resistance is measured in ohms. It states that the current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage and inversely proportional to the resistance at a constant temperature. So as we keep driving further, you get to understand this. But if you want to understand it very well and clearly, so go to my YouTube page or Facebook page, Makoka Enterprises, and log in Ohm's Law. You get to understand exactly what Ohm's Law is talking about. So we need to understand now what is current, voltage, and resistance. Current is a free flow of electrons which is flowing through a circuit. So when we have electrons flowing freely in a circuit, it paves a way as well for current to move when electron is moving. Voltage is a pressure that pushes electrons to move. As you can see the graphic there, and then we have resistance is the total opposition to the free flow of electrons. So we have this graphic. If you can see here, we have voltage, which is pushing current to move. 
and we have resistance, which is measured in ohms, it is holding back electrons not to move. So as such, the cycle keep moving. The cycle keep moving. So we have electrons flowing. So all this now is based on different sizes of cables, like I did mention, or wires. So as we increase the sizes of cable or the wires, or as we keep reducing, they have an impact to play. And Ohm's law says that all these different parameters will be in operation to each other if the temperature is constant. So when we start increasing the temperature, it has a role to play as far as the electrons are flowing through the conductor or the cable.